cartoon monster's presence. What are you doing here, little one? The back halls are strictly off limits. Little one? I'm not a kid, I'm- An intruder, I know. Unfortunately for you, you chose the wrong place to break into. This place has been abandoned for years! So you thought. Who are you? Me? <laughs> I'm the very founder of this school, and the proud mascot. I am Ban Ban. You see, I was a human once, much like you. I had a family and everything. A mother, and a father, and a sister. All of whom were the bane of my existence. I was a standoffish child. I had no friends, and I spent most of my time in my room, alone, playing with toys. Not that my parents ever noticed anyway. No, they had another child to focus on. My sister. Our entire lives, she was the perfect child. A star athlete. A star scholar. A musical prodigy. An artist. She was good at everything, and I can't say she didn't work for it. Years later, she received exciting news from our school. Oh my gosh! I'm valedictorian! Some people are born talented, some have talent thrust upon them, and others are like me. Hey, let me go! Or what? Gonna tell your big sister on us? The little guy can't do anything on his own, huh? I was tormented endlessly. It was as if everyone could sense my low self-esteem. They all looked at me as less than. I was never good enough for anyone. Not to mention my constantly failing grades. Of course, every teacher compared me to my sister. Why aren't you as smart as her, they'd ask. I wasn't very smart to begin with, but the paralyzing stress I was under only made things worse. My parents, who already had no reason to support me or be proud of me, were losing their patience by the day. Those toys, they were my only friends. Always had been. What kind of high schooler was I? Nobody to hang out with. Nobody to call on the phone. Playing with toys and crying on my bedroom floor. One day, I got fed up. I fought back. And that turned out to be one of the worst ideas I've ever had. Oh my god, you brought toys to school? What a little baby! Hey, give those back! I'm serious! Aw, what are you gonna do? Cry about it? Seriously, put them down! Oh, don't worry. I'll put them down. Sure hope they know how to swim! No! My only friends were gone. I'd lost everything at that point. My grades tanked even further, and my parents wanted nothing to do with me anyway. And it only got worse from there. Graduation day, my sister was valedictorian, and it was the proudest moment of my parents' lives. I couldn't bear to go. Besides, I had to go to a makeup science project in the lab to get my grades up. Everyone's big day was ruined, and mine was about to be as well. Just as I showed up to do my science project, well, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Since I was the only person not in the gym at the time when the sprinklers went off, everyone thought it was me. I was instantly guilty in their eyes. This prank, the prank I didn't even do, got me expelled. My parents sent me off to boarding school. I knew they were secretly happy it all happened. They couldn't wait to get rid of me. I was almost happy to be free of the bullying, to be free of the constant comparisons to my sister. But my situation didn't really improve. I was still bullied. And my grades didn't get much better. So from then on, I became obsessed with one thing and one thing only. To one day build my own school. A place where kids would be happy. No bullies, no mean teachers. A safe space filled with magical creatures just like the toys I'd lost. Meanwhile, my parents wouldn't answer my calls or my letters. When breaks rolled around, they never showed up to pick me up and take me home. I was completely alone in the world, with no one to keep me company. But finally one day I got a letter. I knew it had to be from my parents at last. It wasn't. 
It was a letter letting me know I'd been dropped from school due to poor academic standing. Fine, I didn't need them anyway. I decided to go back home. But I couldn't bear to stay. I was a burden to them. They wouldn't have been happy to see me anyway. So I made a promise to myself. I would make it on my own, start my school, and I wouldn't need them anymore. By working lots of odd jobs and part-timers, I was able to raise enough money to buy an abandoned building and try and spruce it up into my own daycare and educational facility. But being a brand new establishment, well, it didn't get much attention, or any enrollments whatsoever. Somehow I felt more alone than ever. In that moment, I really wished I had my old friends. My toys. I loved those toys as a child. Why not dedicate it to them and share their joy with other children? It was time to give the place some more color. And besides, a theme always sells, right? And before my eyes, I built it and people came. So many people wanted to enroll and the children loved it. It made my heart so happy that these kids would never be as lonely as me. But it still felt incomplete, so I took on an additional project. Trying to recreate my old friends and bring them to life. I didn't have much technical or medical knowledge, but I was hoping between some textbooks and my own perseverance I could do it. And I almost did. I managed to make, well, something. But I realized the world wasn't ready to see what I had created. I decided never to share my failed experiment, and I had him live in the basement alone. Clearly I was missing something in my calculations, but I never figured out what it was. So I inserted a new variable. Myself. When I electrified myself and the toy at the same time, we merged. I was terrified. I was disgusted. I was... amazed. And then I realized I couldn't let the parents see me like this. So I became nothing but a voice on the intercom. I shut myself in my office and refused to come out again unless there was an extreme emergency. I hoped that day would never come. But it did. Somehow a door was left unlocked. A door to the back hallway. And a little girl got through. I found her. That little girl almost never made it out. But I had revealed myself to the children, and they were absolutely terrified, as they should be. I was a living monster. Of course, they told their parents, who pulled them out of school immediately. Before my eyes, we went from the most prestigious kindergarten in town to completely barren. They viewed me as a monster. So, I've become one. I've been capturing intruders like you to carry out my experiments. Of course, most of them have been failures. But who knows? You could be my first success. <laughs>